you want a bad body, bad body? I can't get you a bad body, bad body. Do you want a bad body, bad body? I can't get you a bad body, bad body. Bad body, bad body. Bad body, bad body. What's up, everybody? It's the one, the only Derek Colors. Helping you get a bad body. Okay, guys, first of all, I want to thank you for watching another video on my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, do it right now. Show your boy some love. Okay, I'm going to show you some love for some of these good videos. And today, I have a great video for you. Uh, have you ever been in the gym and tried to build your delts and you have a hard time building them? Well, guess what? I'm going to give you six exercises that's going to help you build your delts. Okay, now... This is not the only thing that's gonna help. I got more videos to show you, but these six uh, exercises are gonna really help you, okay? I'm gonna give you two for your front delts, and two for the side, and two for the rear. And if you do these, then you're gonna start seeing some results in those delts. Again, I wanna thank you for coming to this channel. I want you to leave a comment in the bottom if you have any, if you have any things that you want me to talk about, or if you just like this video and you have something to say about it, let other people know that you're watching, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the video, and then I'm going to show you what I've done at the gym and kind of walk you through the benefits of doing these six exercises, okay? All right, and don't forget to show your boys some love with the Bad Body Gear. BadBodyApparel.com is the website. Okay, I got some new stuff that's coming on. I'm launching some more stuff. So I have all of the gear on there sometime real soon. Just bear with me. Doing this and starting up this YouTube and doing a lot of this stuff I'm doing and keeping a bad body. Hey, man, it's a lot. But hey, I'm ready. I'm ready for the fight. I'm ready to be successful. I'm ready to help you guys. So let's handle up, all right? So enough talking. Let's get to these videos. Show you some love. Let's go. Okay, Bad Bodies family, so today, the first muscle we're going to focus on is the front delts, okay? Not the side delts. Now, front lateral raises is designed to focus on the front delts. And you're getting some front delt work when you do thumbs down front lateral raises. But you don't want the side to be activated. So a simple thing to do to activate only the front delts is to turn your pumps up. And when you turn your pumps up, it's going to strictly focus on the front delt. Okay? If you notice, as I go up, look, it's the front delt. It's fully activated when I go up. And there's no side delt activated with this exercise. Okay? As you see, just strictly front delts. A lot of people want better delts. And they're actually getting some front work. But you really trying to tire out that muscle send more blood to the muscle and this exercise right here is going to help you with the front delts okay so the next thing that we're going to go to is the side delt and if you watch me i'm going up but as you notice the dumbbell is kind of forward so moving it back instead of being forward is very uncomfortable you don't your body's not designed for that so don't be in there trying to force your arm back to get more side delt. Go ahead and let's make an adjustment to that so that you can focus on the side and none of the front delt. It's just the same as doing the front delt. You don't want any side delt activation. And so on this one, you don't want any front delt activation. Okay, notice well, I'm, I'm getting the front delt activated with the side delt. Okay, there's a simple little thing that we're going to do that's going to change that. Okay, and that thing is if you turn to the side, to focus on the straight side delt activation, you're going to do one little adjustment. And this adjustment is to lean forward just slightly. Don't lean too much and bend over because when you do it, then it turns into a rear delt exercise. We're strictly wanting to focus on the side delt. So get a slight in-between posture. And notice, the arm is going straight to the side now. It's not forward, and we're getting all side delt activation. Notice, okay, see that? Up and down. It's strictly focusing on the side delt. No front delt activation. 
guys, if you're trying to build big delts and those round, strong delts, then you have to put more focus on each muscle. And you don't want to include one muscle with the other muscle. Okay, because it's gonna take away from when you strictly trying to focus on a single muscle, all right? So that's what we have for the side delts, okay? We're gonna do a rear delt exercise. Now, and when we're gonna do the seated rows, okay? And there's a certain way to do it where you're focusing on your rear delts and not your back and your lats, okay? First of all, do not have a close grip. Spread your grip wide. Okay, this is going to get width on your back. All right, so if you notice, when you pull, I can pull to my belly. If I pull to my belly, I'm not able to squeeze as much in the rear delts as I want. It may have a little lat activation with the back, but we're not focusing on back as much as the rear delt. So one single adjustment is, instead of pulling to the stomach, to the belly area, pull up higher toward the chest. This is going to squeeze the rear delts. And that's what we're looking for. You want big delts, then you have to activate them with just a little bit of a change of position. Lifting weights is not all about just lifting. It's about the form and the right placement of the weights, which you're trying to hit every muscle in your body. Okay, if you notice, when I pull higher, pull and I can squeeze squeeze at the back okay have your elbows high as much as you can don't go to a point where you're uncomfortable but try to focus on keeping the elbows high so that you can squeeze the rear delts all right I love this exercise back is one of the things I'm truly working on because I need some work on that so as you see again high elbows squeeze at the top and then stretch at the bottom okay the next exercise we're doing is the rope cable face pull okay it's a, it's a rear delt exercise if you notice the thing with this compared to the bar is you're getting a higher pull which is working a little bit more of the high part of the rear delt okay so let me tell you how to do this you can have a low pulley placement or mid-level pulley placement or a high. We're gonna do pull, we're gonna do the mid, okay? Grab the rope within your between your thumb and your index finger, underhand, okay? Now what you do is you turn your wrist from a hammer position to a regular position where you turn the thumbs in toward each other. Okay? Now there are two ways of doing this. You can pull to the face the low part of your face and that's going to get you good activation activation but again we're working the high part so instead of pulling to the face the lower part of your face pull toward your forehead okay low gets you there but pulling toward the forehead with a higher hand position is going to allow you to squeeze more to activate that muscle that you're trying to do okay now this is an exercise that you won't be able to go as heavy because of the weight. You're gonna be pulling above your shoulder. So get a weight that's comfortable for you and then you increase from week to week. But you want to be able to get a lot of weight with this if you're trying to really build those rear delts, okay? See how the palms are above the ear? You pull low and then you pull high what they call a low pull to a high pull and that's great for activating the rear delts okay so here's another side delt exercise and notice it's the same thing when we're doing the uh, the dumbbells you want to get a slight bend you don't want to be standing straight up because you're going to activate a lot of the front delt and we're not focusing on front delt we're focusing on the side delt okay now if you notice if i'm standing straight up again i'm activating the front part of the delt okay for you guys who are lagging muscles in the delts these exercises are beneficial and they're key to you developing the type of delt toys that you want for your body you're going to look very good in your shirts you look very good with the tank tops 
these exercises are going to build you up and get you right. Bad bodies right. Okay. So again, just with the dumbbells, I do the same thing with the cables. I lean, slightly lean forward. And as I pull, hold at the top for a split second so that you can actually get that burn. Okay. You, as I stand up, I'm showing you a side view of it now. If I stand up, and just go straight. Notice my palms are in front of my shoulder. And I don't want them in front of my shoulder. I want my palms lined up with the, with the side of my shoulders so that I'm fully getting side delt work. You see that? Notice the pull, a, a pull high and let it down to a stretching position and then pull high. In another sample of example of me doing this standing straight up and putting a lot of pressure on my shoulder by standing straight up I don't want that that's a lot of pressure and that's painful if you do it when you start getting heavier weight so again slightly bend over and then pull squeeze at the top that's gonna get you the side delts that you really really are looking for when you do this exercise all right guys, so the last exercise that I'm gonna show you is gonna be for your front delts, right? Showed you two for the side, two for the rear, and we're gonna end with showing you the front. Now you notice, look at the contraction on my front delts as I press the T-bar forward. This exercise is T-bar rows and the raises, T-bar raises, I'm sorry, not rows, T-bar raises. And this is really gonna give you those fine shoulders that you want when you wear those tank tops or you got the T-shirt, you want to get that roundness it fills your clothes out better okay now there's two ways to do this you can do it standing or you can do it kneeling i decided to show you kneeling because a lot of people don't do it this way they don't really know about it and it just relaxes you more okay so start with a warm-up as you can see i'm warming up and then start gradually adding weight uh, make sure that you don't put too much weight on too fast because this bar is heavy once you add weight. You don't want to strain your shoulders by trying to do too much too fast, okay? Now, I hope this video is helping you because at the end of the day, we all want those bolder shoulders. And I love doing these exercises and these exercises are gonna help you out. If you want a bad body, then these delt exercises are gonna help your delts become a part of your bad body, all right? All right, guys. What's that, guys? Guess what? I just came from the store. I got one of these. You ask, what is this? This is a journal. You need to get a journal because you're gonna, you're gonna wanna have to write your goals down. Your goals are very important to write down. The Bible tells you that once you write it down, then God sets a date for you to receive what you write down if you keep the faith. So write it down. Do not feel like it's a waste of time to write down your goals because I found out, for example, that it actually works. I wrote down like 14 impossible goals or short-term goals, and I looked a year later and I achieved seven of them. But when you write it down, you have to believe, and believe means you take action. So that means that as you move, you know you're gonna get it. So get, get a journal, whatever it takes, and write your goals down and say them out loud every day. Speak them into existence. That's what every successful person does. You ask any successful person if they write their goals down and if they talk about them by, by speaking them into existence, then it happens for them. I guarantee you they'll say yes. So get you a, get you a journal, all right? Get you a good journal, write it down.